Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, an old man. I'm gonna be doing a Chuck Ross today. My old nemesis, the Chuck Ross. I don't have a whole lot of time to be goofing around. I'd, I'd love to do it on a Weber if I had some time. Fire it up and uh, maintain the charcoal and everything, but <clears throat> I'm gonna choose to do it on, on one of the Pell Girls today, and, and, and you probably guessed it. Well, you're probably gonna do it on the Pell Pro. Yeah, and why are you gonna do it? Why, why is he always cooking it? Because it's very reliable. Well-built product, folks. Uh, it, it, it just it performs every time. You plug it in. It's a it's a plug plug and play type thing. Got the new controller on there. Uh, we've been giving that a workout. Thing works awesome. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's I'll get this fired up. Let's go. Why don't you go take a look at that chuck roast? Well, there it is, my old nemesis, the chuck roast. I saw this one at the grocery store yesterday, and it was almost like, look at me, look at me. It was so lean. There's only a little bit of fat in there. And I said, okay, we're we're gonna give this a shot. I haven't done chuck roast in a while. Uh, we put a little bit of the zangs on there. Obviously, we, we um, vacuum sealed it overnight. A little Montreal steak seasoning. You're saying, why is there pickles out there? I put a little pickle juice in there. It's got a lot of salt in it. So hopefully that help breaks it down. It's been in the fridge overnight. We'll do it go low and slow on the Pell Pro. And then crank it up, put it in some tin foil, with a little bit of uh, vegetable broth, some potatoes and carrots. And uh, that's the plan, folks. Uh, stay tuned, see if it comes true. All right, folks, so we're on low smoke, low smoke. Uh, you can see we're on 166, 167 there. Got a little bit of smoke rolling out there. I've got a little water, and uh, I just spray it occasionally. Let's just take a quick look here. Our truck rose, there's our nemesis right there, folks. A little smoke, uh, and uh, we're going to keep on going, give you a couple more look-sees, and hopefully we'll have Chuck Rose Nirvana today. Keep on watching. All right, folks, so we're about two hours and 45 minutes in it. In it. Uh, we did two hours at low smoke. Uh, and now we're 45 minutes into mid. Mid is uh, 270 on the Pell Pro. You can see we're rolling right at 273. Nice job by the PID on this awesome unit. Let's take a quick look at the meat, shall we? Got some nice color on there. Yeah, looking pretty nice. So we're going to run this up to about 160-ish. Then uh, we'll give you a look-see when we wrap it. All right, I got her in the pan. Uh, I took the internal up to 150. I'm getting impatient here. Carrots, potatoes in there. That's going to slow it down a little bit. Uh, and I got some uh, vegetable broth in there. Just going to cover all this up, tin foil, back on the grill. I'm going to try and put the, get the probe in the perfect spot there. And uh, I'm going to turn the, that's the beauty of a Pell Grill, folks. You can just turn it up to three and a quarter. And uh, like I said, we're going to take this internal up to 210-ish. Bring it out, let it rest for a while. And hopefully, mm, hopefully we'll have Chuck Roast Nirvana. Stay tuned, folks. All right, uh, six hours total. Been resting for a half an hour now. There was the, there are the two holes that I poked. Uh, we were at uh, two ten ish. I covered them up with some tape just to make sure that uh, you kept the moisture in there because that's that's uh, that's a big. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present here, folks. This is uh, in search of <coughs> Chuck Rose Nirvana. So. I'll tell you what, let me get two forks and we'll find out if this will pull. All right, 30 seconds later, here, here it is, folks. It's uh oh, look at that. I think, look at that. It's just coming right apart. A chuck roast that pulls. Folks, if you've never had the opportunity to pull a chuck roast, a lot of people We'll slice them, but I'll tell you what, if you can do pulled chuck roast, look at all that juice. I mean, a lot of that is the uh, broth, but still, this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. Let's, uh, I know it's going to be hot. Let's, let's go this side. There's usually one side that's pretty tough, and it's, eh, it's still pulling a little bit, but that side's a little bit tougher, but it's still, look at that, still pulling apart. Take a look, uh, for those of you who don't think you can get a smoke ring. Oh, uh, what is that? This thing is hot. Take a quick, mm. Looking for the taste of the pickle juice. I can't taste it. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. However, right, stay tuned, we're gonna make some sandwiches. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna make sandwiches, but everything you need is right here. Taters are done, carrots are done. I mean, take take a look at that. It just falls apart. That is, uh, and look at that smoke ring on a pillow girl. Pretty pretty impressive, folks. Um, <laughs> Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this, folks. If I can do it, so can you. 
you too, you too can uh, find Chuck Gross Nirvana. Got, give it a shot. You got to go all the way. 210 internal. That's the key. 210 ish and uh, show pull. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.